Welcome back to the Keep Productive with ClickUp channel. My name is Francesco and we're going to dive into how to go about creating your first ever timeline inside of ClickUp. Now we're going to create a brand new list and share with you a little bit of guidance on how this feature can be fully taken advantage of. You can find the pricing and details below at to what pricing plan the timeline function and view is available in with your ClickUp and you'll find that link in the description. But let's roll into how to go ahead and create one. So as you can see here, I have um, my home area set up, but what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and uh, go into my work area. And in particular, I want to go ahead and create a brand new list. Now I'm gonna call this one 20, oh, 2023 planning. Weird to say that it's that far in advance. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a brand new list. So what it's asking me straight up is, do you want to start this from scratch or do you want to inherit some of the statuses that are already inside of one of your folders inside of your ClickUp account? In this case, I'm actually just gonna start from scratch. So once I've got that out of the way, the best way to get started with the timeline view is to actually start typing away a few tasks that you have in mind. So I might say this could be the team retreat. I could say this is the summer getaway. These are major milestones that might be coming up in the year for the team to be able to see and visualize on a timeline calendar. And finally, let's add some projects. Project A, Project B, and Project C. Okay, so I can go ahead and add all of the regular stuff I'd expect, like priority levels, due dates and assignee as well. In this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna show you how to get access to the timeline view. I do that by heading up here and hitting view. Now I'm gonna hit um, a name in here. Um, that's how you name it straight away. And what I'm gonna do is very simply call it timeline or maybe even roadmap uh, 2023. Now you can do two things. You can make it a private view if you don't want to share it internally in front of the people who are already part of the space inside of your ClickUp account, or you can pin it, which is a helpful way to see it at forefront of all of the views in your ClickUp account. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit timeline as a new view. So as you can see here, these are a few of the things that pop up. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller and save the view that I have here. I like to see a bit more zoom uh, from this. So in this case, I might go a little bit further to month view. Always down here, you can have the auto save function working, but if you just want to save it, you can press command enter if you're on Mac. Now you can see here that I've got a bit of a, an, a wingspan of what's coming up for the next couple of months. And in this case, I'm gonna, I've got January, February and March and April that are coming up. Now, as you can see on this right-hand side, the main reason why I added stuff to a list is just to start getting the core stuff prepared and ready so that I'm ready to drag it in. And that's one of the benefits to having unscheduled tasks and you can sort them by status if you've got a lot of them coming inside of your ClickUp account as part of the list. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say that the team retreat is expected from the 12th of March. And you can see that that comes there and I can also drag it over a week long. And as you can see, it's all prepared. Now, if I skip forward a little bit longer, I'm looking to maybe organize that summer getaway. Well, what I can do is simply drag it in and say it starts from the 7th of June and we'll say it goes to the 16th of June. And what I can do is click into this and add all the regular stuff that I'd expect if I want to start assigning stuff to certain people. But this gives a great high level view of what's important for you and your team. And I can switch back to that week view over here just by clicking this and I can actually go ahead and find the dates that I have in mind. And this week view is quite nice because it actually doesn't feel too, um, too zoomed out, if that makes sense. Um, let's go and find this March um, 14th or 12th one that we did. And you can see here that it's all ready and prepared. Now what's nice as well is if I want to show a little bit of a preview of some of the things that I have in like remove weekends or maybe even show the subtasks or location or parent names or assignee, then I can do so too. And if I go back to over here, you can now see that this has been modified slightly and I'm going to assign it to myself. So you can see some information has come through all on that. So I can do this with projects if I want to as well. 
And the good thing is, if I want to change status to, for example, doing, um, I can move that there and I can say this project already started and I can drag stuff about more suitably using the timeline view. Now there's quite a lot to know about the timeline view. It's got quite a lot of features that are tucked away inside of ClickUp's powerful views and functions. So one of the things that you can do is you can go and choose some of the filtering options. Now a good one, if you want to view all of the stuff you're currently actively working on, is going to status and selecting active. Now this will choose any of the status items that are active inside of your account. And in this case, that is anything that is doing or to do, but I'm actually gonna have it as doing only. And I'm gonna confirm that. And that means when I'm scrolling through my timeline, as I'm scrolling through my timeline, I can see what I'm working on that is doing. So that filter comes in handy and there's so many more filters that you can do, including what's been assigned to a certain person. If you're looking to drill down what projects you're actually part of and uh, if you've had any assigned comments, any due dates, et cetera, et cetera. It's pretty uh, extensive in what you can add, even some of the sprint points that have been added too. But that's just a helpful function to get you started. Okie dokie, so that was a little bit of an overview of how to get started with your timeline view in ClickUp. There's so much more you can do, and in a future, future feature here on Keep Productive with ClickUp, we'll dive into the more advanced elements of the timeline and really taking you that step further. But this was just very much a getting started point for you as you roll into ClickUp use. Hopefully you found this video useful and please do subscribe to this channel and keep productive if you want more videos about productivity software and tools and most importantly click up here on this channel. Thanks very much folks and I'll talk to you all very very soon. Cheerio!